Okay, so if you've had the features plugin installed, you'll notice a, a start feature item on the left hand side here. So if we click on that, you'll see uh, from that, you'll see uh, the title of each feature. And from the quick edit, you can actually change the order of, of each feature as well. So the higher the number, the, the, the higher up the list it goes. So you'll see here the features that I have on my website. So it's got an icon, a title, and a short description. So let's have a look at this one here. Okay, wait for it to load. Okay, so we've got the title here, the description here, and then the icon, which is attached as a feature image. You set the feature image in the website so everyone has to be exactly the same. Okay, you can change the order here. Let's just fix this up here, move that to the top there. Okay, so then what you can do is you can actually link to where you want it to go. Okay, so you can link it to a different page or whatever on the site. That's the whole idea of the features as a jumping off point to jump somewhere else on your website. Okay, so you put in the title, a short description. You, if you can have a longer description if you want, then just put an excerpt in there. The excerpt will be what displays, and you have a link to where that that icon will link to. So if I click on that icon, it will go to my about page. Okay, there we go. Okay, so pretty much that's how the features work. Now, depending on how you, the, the site's been set up, here the site's been set up, as we can see, the site's been set up for four. So you know that this would look great with four or eight or 12. It would look terrible with one, two, three, four, and then one here, because you have all this white space to the right of it. Okay, so when you're using features, you've, all, you've got to think about the, the layer. Now, with the features plugin, you also get uh, um, for, for a widget to be able to put in, and in this case, the home page widget is the features widget. Okay, and I've set it to have four, the image size to be 100, and four in each row. Okay, then I can set the order and on what order they go by the date added or by a specific order. Okay, you also with the, with the plugin. With the plugin, you also you'll, you'll see under other notes. I would imagine it's under other notes. You can actually put a short code in. So putting that short code in will pull all the features into a page. Okay. Usually that would need to be styled by your designer, but that's uh, you could actually put that short code in, and where you would put that would be. Um, let's go and have a look at a, a page here. Um, Okay, you would put that short code in, never in visual editor, but you could put it actually in the text editor here. Okay, I could actually put that in the text editor. I'll put it in there for the time being and we'll have a look at the page. It'll look pretty horrible, I imagine. You never know. So yeah, you can see it doesn't look very good. Okay, it would need, the, I would have to get my designer to say, okay, for the short code, can you make this, do this, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So there you go, that's how the short code works. I'm just going to clean that up, get rid of it again, and then update it. So that's how the, the, the features uh, part of uh, the features plugin actually works.